4.30 in the morning. How you doing? I'm pretty tired. Um, what better time to be doing the Final Reflections video than 4.30 in the morning on the day that everything is due? Uh, I can't think of one. So, uh, I just finished my final project. I still need to archive my blog. Um, I, I don't have time to do any more tutorials. I don't have time to do any more anything. I still have to start on like a science fiction paper that's due like an hour after my meeting with Jim. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this now and call DS106 a wrap. Um, just because I, that, that's the first thing I want to address is that there's, there's the, the question of like what would you say to future students. Um, I would say take it when you have time. Um, because there's nothing worse in this class than feeling burnt out uh, and, and too busy to do what you want to do in this class. Because almost everything you have that you can do in this class is super cool and super creative and things you actually want to do. But if you don't have time, then you just sort of rush everything and it just it just feels disappointing. Like there were some things that I wanted to do with this final project that I just didn't have time to do. Um, I ended up having to skip like weeks of daily creates because I just didn't have time because I was just you know juggling you know a social life and scheduling a charity comedy event and homework for other classes and essays and work and all this other stuff. And so it was just like well you know something had to give and it just happened to be digital storytelling and that sucks because that was also probably my most fun class. Um, so take it when you have time to take it because if you just take it when you're busy you're gonna end up like me burn out 4.30 in the morning on the day that everything's due just now finishing it up. Um, not fun but so, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, it just sort of leads into what I would change about the class, which is I would, I would lessen the load when it comes to, like, video and stuff. Like, I kind of liken it, and this is probably a poor compare. well, you know, actually it's a pretty good comparison, but this is just what I relate to, uh, is video games. So, in video games, when the difficulty of the game sort of spikes, you call that, like, a difficulty spike, because it's harder than the rest of the game, and it feels unbalanced. So I think digital storytelling has kind of the same thing where it starts out pretty easy and then uh, you know sort of you know it's gradually ramping up and then all of a sudden you get to like video and you get to, you know you get to like the audio stuff. Like the audio stuff was pretty easy, but like you get to like video after the radio show and it's just like so much more time consuming because like I think the problem is I just needed fewer stars to do because that's the time when like all my other classes are ramping up too. And so um, I just didn't have time to do like 30 stars of video stuff, especially when like a lot of assignments that I thought would take me like, you know, hours or days to do as a video, um, were worth like two stars or something, you know, and like some of the harder ones were worth like five stars. So I feel like the, the star system needs to be a little more, uh, balanced, especially like when you get to remix, because when you get to remix, then like everything is thrown off because then it counts both the remix stars and the original stars and combines them and so like things that are really easy are worth a whole buttload of stars but anyway so the I think the, the biggest problem with this class is just that it, it just has that spike um, and then you, it's just very easy to get burnt out because at the time when that spike happens you know I'm I, it's just I just it's just you have so much work to do and other stuff that you know I couldn't deal with that spike and so I just had to like drop out for like two weeks or whatever you know two to three weeks and just couldn't do daily creates couldn't do assignments as much I was just doing everything late because it was just like all these other classes needed my attention more than digital storytelling did but um, I don't know I guess I'll just move on from there um, what did I gain most? Um, I think at first I gained just, you know, do something every day because I'm usually pretty slow 
uh, when it comes to doing creative stuff because like, I, I want to put out quality, um, like as high quality as I can, but that also means that it takes me forever. That's why I only ever post like once every couple of months on my on my video game blog is because I just, you know, I try to post high quality stuff and it takes me forever. And so here it was like, just do something, put it out there. Don't worry too much about it. Just, just do it and put it out there. And so that was actually really refreshing um, because it just meant that I could just do something creative and just get it out there and then move on to the next thing. It was pretty quick. Um, so that was probably something I got out of this class. I already knew kind of a lot about like Photoshop and stuff and a little bit about audio. So that, that was helpful, especially like the radio show. But the video is probably what I got most out of because I'd never done anything video related before. Um, didn't have any sort of video editing program. Um, and so that was actually uh, super useful, um, the video editing stuff. Um, I don't think my idea of storytelling has changed any, just because I, I mean, I already kind of knew that, like, you could use just, like, audio to tell a compelling story of its own, like, the people walking in the forest and, you know, a monster comes or whatever, so like that, like, it is, is, yeah, like, you can tell different stories in different mediums, but I think just creating those stories myself was pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Best work. I didn't. I didn't pick any best work. I. I don't have time. <laughs> uh, which I guess goes back to other stuff. But I, I don't know. Best work. I. I like the radio show. I like cover for it. I liked. Um, minimalist poster. That minimalist posters that I made. Uh, well, let me actually just click on assignments here. So I remember being pretty proud of some stuff, which is also something I got out of this class, is I just made stuff that I was proud of, you know, like, oh, the, the cooking show. The cooking show was really fun. Uh, that was all one take, no rehearsal, no thinking about it at all, just total improv. Um, it was fun. Um, yeah, probably the, the video and the audio stuff was really fun. I, I think the... I'm pretty proud of the parallelism uh, in Shaun of the Dead video essay, just because I love Shaun of the Dead. Uh, maybe the Umbrella Man, I like that one a lot. Oh, Valentine's Day dubstep, yep, that's what I'm most proud of, because I've had that idea for like a year or two, and now I finally got to implement it, and I'm very proud that I got to implement it. Valentine's Day dubstep card. Um, but anyway, so... To wrap up this way too long video, I think this is a great class. I think future students need to make sure that they can commit to it, take it when they have a lighter load, just so they can like fully commit to it. Um, and I, but I think that the class would benefit from not being as um, from from not piling it on near the end with all like the video stuff. Um, just, you know, lower star requirement or something. Especially because, like, if you don't know how to do some of this stuff, it's like, yeah, it's cool, like, learning, like, trial by fire, but, like, if I don't have video editing software, if I don't know how to use video editing software, if I don't have a good camera, then, you know, a lot of the time, it was just, like, I felt outmatched. You know, just like I'm sure a lot of people felt outmatched during the, the image editing stuff, because, like, they didn't have Photoshop. Like, I had Photoshop already, just like during the audio stuff, like, I mean, I have a pretty good mic already. Um, and so, like, I remember, like, Mara had that problem with, you know, her radio show is that it sounded like crap because she was just using her, like, MacBook speaker, which, I mean, is the reason why I bought a new mic was because, like, I just was so tired of my MacBook speaker uh, a while back. And so I was just like, okay, I'm just going to shell out some money and buy a new uh, mic. But not everyone can do that. Um, just like not everyone can get Photoshop, not everyone can get, you know, Final Cut Pro or whatever. So, you know, I think that's a flaw of the class too, is that, uh, there's tools need to be more, uh, available. And, you know, if, if people need help, then I think trial by fire shouldn't be the only option for them. I think there should be more in class. Also, the class sometimes felt, I guess, a little, uh, unnecessary just because, it was just like we'd watch Fritz Lang or something, 
um, which was it was fun. But like I just you know, there were some classes where I felt like we were doing better stuff. Um, like I thought when we were just like early on in the class, we were just showcasing a lot of each other's work, and it just felt more like a community uh, than later classes where it was just kind of let's watch movie clips or whatever. Like I liked I liked when DS One Six felt like a real community and we were having fun and stuff together. That was cool. Okay, I'm um, this is gone too long. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Great class. Commit. Uh, lighten the load. Etc. Etc. 4.41 in the morning. See you later.